It does not get easier for Derby County and Paul Warren as Derby County face up against Burnley at Turf Moor tomorrow night. 7.45 kickoff live on Sky Sports Plus. It's going to be a very, very interesting one to see what goes on in this one. Now, we're going to take a look into everything that happens. It's obviously been a really poor run of form for Derby County. Paul Warren looks to be under pressure from the travelling fans as well as the home supporters. What is going to happen in this one for Derby County? It's 11 points out of 42. One win in 10 games. It's going to be a snatch and grab if it's going to be anything. We heard what Paul Warren had to say after the game versus Leeds United. Is he setting up for a draw in this one? Let's find out. If you have not done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and turn on that notification bell. We will be live at 6pm tonight talking all things Derby County and Burnley. It's going to be a very, very interesting game live on Sky Sports tomorrow night on Tuesday. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. Let me know if you're going to be here tonight. I'll put it out over on Twitter. I'll put it out on uh, Facebook as well. So make sure you follow me in those places or you're in the Derby County groups. Uh, and I'll catch you later on so as you can see it's Derby County at Turf Moor it's going to be a difficult one a very very difficult one there is some injuries for Burnley to go across Aaron Ramsey will be missing out Jordan Bayer Lyle Foster Manuel Benson and Mike Tressor we then go on to Derby County with Ryan Niambi and Tawanda Chiwa both missing out as well but Derby County will probably also be without the midfield general of David Ozo it's going to be interesting to see how they shape up that midfield. Ibu Adams will be welcomed back to the team after a suspension. Callum Elder as well will be welcomed back. Will they stick with the back five or will they go to a back four? It's a big, big question in my mind. I personally think we need to put more up top to support Yates. I think Mendes Lang and Caden Jackson need to be replaced. But who are they going to be replaced by? That is a big question, which it's going to be interesting to find out. And for me, if we look now into the recent forms of the two sides, Derby have lost three back-to-back -back games. Burnley have won four, drew one of their recent fixtures. It's going to be interesting to see what is going to happen over the course of this one. But Derby County are ultimately not going to be the favourite heading into this one. It will be all on Burnley. At their home ground, I can personally see a 1-0 result. Whichever way that goes, I'm not entirely sure. And it's very, very interesting for me. Uh, and it's one of those things where Paul Warren has to do something and if he's going to change it, he's got to change the mentality now because for me, we went into that Leeds game with the intention not to lose and as soon as you go 1-0 down, the game plan is gone. You've got to know how to change it. Now for me, we've got to go into this game trying to win. Will we do that? I don't know, but that is what we've got to do. Now, if we look at the league table and look at where Burnley are sitting, they're currently sitting third in the division, 10 wins, 7 draws, 2 defeats, 37 points on the board, just 2 points behind top of the table, Sheffield United. They're obviously quite safe in that relegation battle, as you can see, 7 points in the relegation battle, playoff battle, 7 points between Burnley and Watford. You go down to Derby County in 16th place, 20 points for us, and you go down to the relegation zone, Plymouth Argyle, 17 points. Now, we do have a superior goal difference to practically all the teams around us, and that will probably help us coming into um, this rough period when it comes to the end of it but there's a world of possibilities that we can end up down in this relegation zone come the end of December you obviously look at Hull City just five points behind if they can get their act together Pompey we face them Plymouth Argyle have already picked up a draw against us as well so if we look at home form for Burnley fifth place in the division five wins four draws no defeats now it could scream a Derby County 1-0 win, but it probably doesn't. When you look at the away record of Derby County, 19th place, one win, three draws and six defeats. And you look at the last five matches for both teams, Burnley sitting top of the league, 13 points. Derby County sit down in that relegation zone, just two points from their previous five games. If we go and look at the Burnley side, they've obviously got a really good manager in Scott Parker. I think he's really, really good at this level. They've got a selection of good goalkeepers. You go to the defenders as well. Connor Roberts, really good. John Egan, really good. Joe Worrell, a really, really good player. And they're just a really good side. You look at the midfield, Masengo, uh, Hannibal, really good players. Josh Brownhill, Josh Cullen. 
Aaron Ramsey. There is some really, really good players in this team, and the forward line, I think, speaks for itself. Obviously, yes, there's some players missing through injury, but there's got to be something that Derby County can do to stop these players. Brown Hill, top goal scorer with six goals. Uh, Jaden Anthony, the top assister, with two assists. You look at their best player, uh, Egan Riley, with a 7.49, Connor Roberts, 7.36, and a 7.34. Now, if we look at the league table, they don't concede many goals. It's seven goals in 19 games. They don't score many either, just 24 in that same period. Whereas you go down to Derby County, 22 goals scored, 26 goals conceded. This is going to be a very, very interesting one to cover it is going to be interesting to look across now if we do go across to Derby County there's going to be some big decisions to be made in the squad you obviously look at the defensive line are we going to stick with Curtis Nelson Nat Phillips and Erin Cashin as a back three and bring Elder in on the left wing uh, as left wing back Kane Wilson on right wing back or are we going to go back to a back four some big questions across my mind the midfield is going to be hugely questioned Ebo Adams has to be the one to come back in but how is it going to shape up around that I can't see Ben Osborne being available so it's probably going to be Kenzo Heldmine and uh, Liam Thompson ahead of Ebo Adams and the forward line for me has to be Dejon Brown and Jerry Yates as a two but how you structure that behind I don't know but we need more and I don't think Mendes Lang and I don't think Caden Jackson have been good enough to warrant guaranteed starters and as a captain I don't think Mendes Lang has been that good this season so We've got to see what is going to happen. Now, we're going to get ourselves across to the lineup builder and predict what the team might be. Well, we look at the team that we played versus uh, Leeds United, ultimately a team that the intention was not to lose. Rather than to try and snatch a win, it was to not lose. And ultimately, I do think there's going to be changes. For me, and I know this is going to sound stupid I want to stick with the five at the back I do want to stick with the five at the back I'm not saying that it's the absolute right decision I'm going to bring Callum Elder back into that position I'm going to put Ebo Adams in midfield and Kenzo hold mine and I'm going to go with a front two of Dejon Brown now will this be the team that we play probably not Probably not at all. I can't see Paul Warren giving Dejan Brown that opportunity. And ultimately, it is going to be a difficult game for those forward two, which is where you could ultimately bring in James Collins to play alongside Jerry Yates. But we need some creativity in midfield. So you have to play Kenzo or Marcus Harness uh, in that midfield to be sort of the link between. Now, Ibo Adams and Liam Thompson, you know what you're going to get from them. They'll work hard, they'll tackle, they'll rat about. But ultimately, they don't offer you much in a sense of going forward. Now, uh, would I start Kane Wilson at right wing back? Yes. But I think there's an opportunity where Joe Ward could step in here and be a creative force for us in this game we're going to need set pieces we're going to need crosses to what in order to get us through and it's going to be interesting to see what Paul Warren does actually shape up with because I'm going to show you right now what I think he'll actually do now where is the 4-3-3 that's what I think Paul Warren's going to do I think he's going to shape up in a 4-3-3 something like this obviously Ebo Adams um in the midfield, Cashin, Nelson and Phillips. I think he will play uh, Caden Jackson and Mendes Lang with Jerry Yates up front. Is it the right call for me? I personally don't think so. I think we need a lot more in those forward lines. And I am going to um, come live later and we're going to talk about Derby County and what should happen, what will happen. It's going to be very, very interesting for Derby County heading into this uh, Burnley game. It's a massive, massive chance for Derby County to snatch and grab a point in a game which no one really expects anything. Pretty similar to the Leeds one. And it's all about the mentality going in and what Paul Warren has to say after the fact because we can't be going in to a game with the intention of not losing. We've got to go in with a bit more mentality, a bit more belief than that. And I feel sorry for the players because the way that they've been spoken about over recent weeks with Paul Warren, in my opinion, just isn't quite right. We will have to see what goes on with that. There is a poll over on my YouTube community page where I ask the question, is Paul Warren going to be the Derby County manager? Should he stay the Derby County manager? Go and answer the question over there and let me know what you think.
Now, we've looked ahead to Burnley, we've looked at team predictions, we've looked at the league table and danger men for Derby County to deal with. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments and hit that subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell. I will be going live later on today, around 6pm, to talk through uh, Derby County versus Burnley to see what you lot have to say and what you lot think. Maybe even uh, jump on a couple of games as well after. So uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Make sure you're here. 4, 6 p.m. It's going to be very interesting. I'm really intrigued to hear what you have to say. I'll catch you later on.